Hello and welcome to my single player let's play of Portal 2. Yes, it's been a long time coming as this, so I think we should get on with it. Now, there's a bit of an audio issue with whether or not I can hear Wheatley and other characters that will be talking to me in the game. So, if that's a problem, I, I might, it might not be. There might be some audio issues. It will be only in the first episode if that is the case. We shall find out soon enough. So, if you haven't played Portal 2, basically it's a puzzle, platformy, run around, awesome game where you use portals to move around and solve puzzles in a platformy kind of way. Yes. Um, go watch my, me and uh, Haley play the two player version. Here we go. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Okay, so before I look up at the ceiling and prompt him to carry on chatting, basically I can kind of, I, I can't 100% hear what he's saying and I can't really read the subtitles very well. So I'm, I need to listen very carefully. So I will go quiet when they're talking, but hey, you want to listen to them anyway, not me. So uh, it's time to look up. So here we go. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear Ooh. the buzzer, look down at the floor. Okie dokie, so looking down. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory <laughs> mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. Where? 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 Where is the frame painting? This one? This this painting? This TV? Is that a painting? No, this is a painting. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. Easiest test ever. <clears throat> now feel mentally reinvigorated. I do. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Yes. Very nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, please return to your bed. Oh, is it that time already? Didn't have much of a day. Oh well, sleepy time. I'm sure tomorrow will be much more exciting. Yes. And adventurous. I just realised I haven't turned my phone on to silent like I normally do. There we go. Never mind. Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Are you going to open the door? Anytime? I think something has gone horribly wrong here. The place looks a little bit scruffy compared to last time. The TV's turned on though. Hmm. Probably should answer the door. It sounds a lot like... Is it... It is! It's oh, Stephen Merchant. Good. Hello. Um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay okay. Stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. There's no grab stuff button. There's no grab stuff button. <laughs> you there? Can you hear me? I'm fine, yeah. Hello? It's all good. It's all good. Definitely not terrified. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this yes. make any sense? Just yes. tell me. Just say yes. Yes. Okay. Oh. What you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say <laughs> apple. 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 Okay. You know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. Cool. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Hmm, this doesn't seem... Hey, look, I wasn't going to ah. mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? Terrified. Don't worry. The Just terrified. Power ran out, so, of course, the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on. This is a bit tricky. And, of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But I love space. 
Yeah, that'd be right. Scrape through there. There you go. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? I swear. Right, so that much, alright. <laughs> Interrupting. I swear. Every time I'm about to talk, Stephen Merchant interrupts me. <laughs> we should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright? Yeah. Not dead. Okay, I'll definitely back there. you up on that. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. It does say docking station. In his defence. I mean, there are arrows the pointing is, down. That is not a docking station. So there's one <laughs> mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Oh. Almost this is definitely, there. definitely Remember, dangerous. You're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. There we go. Oosh. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But, um... At least you're a good jumper, so you got that little jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. All right. So I should just go now, then. Off you go. This way, down through this dangerous glass. Ow. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. And away we go. Now, of course, that is quite the introduction. It's a fantastic introduction first time you see it. This is like my second or third time playing this game. So for me, that was a bit boring. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Now, uh, it's time to play some Portal. Yes. He's getting chatty again. slim. You have just passed through an Aperture Science Material Emancipation Drill, which vaporizes most Aperture Science equipment that touches... Oh, sorry, did I interrupt you? With my speed? Here we go. So, yes, um... There will be a lot of commentary from both... From them. Them, on the other side. And, of course, hopefully I'll be able to talk every now and then. Relax. Lie on your back. He is chatty, isn't he? He's such a chatty, chatty you fellow. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. So what we need here is we need our box. So our box is, yep, here. So you can go through here. Grab our box. Jump through here. Uh, let's drop the box there. Then we can press the button. Boom. And head on through, and drop the boot on, on uh, the box on the boot on even, and then head on over here, push this button, that will give us the portal to the doorway. Good. Easy. Because Easy of the peasy. technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. There's an assumption that something horrible has happened outside. But we're right, we're in here. We'll be fine. It's lovely and lovely and safe in here, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, it'll be right. It'll be right. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of Animal King, Sentient Cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Hey, you made it. Oh, hello. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. Over here? I can't see it, though. Maybe it fell off. This one here? Oh. Ah! Long fall boots. Can you see the portal? 
muscle gun. Also, are you alive? If that's important, you should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right? Brilliant. Go, team. See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not Genius. Dead, Off we pop. <laughs> Right, I think we're going to we get a bit of time by ourselves now, so I can actually chat. <laughs> they are, they are chatty, they're the chatty bunch. So, we only have the blue portal now, which obviously we need to get up there with, so we can pop a portal here, or literally anywhere really, and wander up here. Lovely. I would like the other half of the portal. That's when it all opens up. It's all this frustrating part of the beginning of the game, um, where you've only got one half of the portal gun. I really want both halves. Both halves are more fun. Okay, here we go. Drop down here. So I, this is a bit I actually always have slight issues with. I think I'll be fine this time though. We go through here, and then we're up here, and then we go. Yeah, it's just this. For some reason. Sorry, I'm interrupting you. <laughs> uh, for some reason, I struggled with this very, 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 very simple puzzle. I don't know why. Uh, the first couple of times I played this game. Now I'm through. Like it's nothing. Has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics. Please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Alright. We are rocking through this. Absolutely storming ahead. As I expected, really. Um, the first few episodes are going to be probably be quite simple. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three... Two, one. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's a pity. I was enjoying that. So we're done. We're done. No, no more chit chat. Okay, let's get us. Uh, there's a box down here. Boing. Lovely. And then we go in after the box. There's Pizzy. And then do the same thing. Well, not the exact same thing. Now, this, yeah, this time what we need to do is we need to go here. And then walk through. Then post the portal here. And turn around. Grab the box. Turn around. Put that on the other boot on. Great work. Easy. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Oosh. Okay. So I have to judge my own compliments. Or something like that. I don't know. What's up here? We have a table. Some uh, scribblings of a madman. There's a putty cat there. Hello, putty cat. That's cute. Okay. Nothing up here. Let's head onwards. Onwards. Through this door. And down to the lift. That was an easy one. Okay. Didn't even have to place a portal. Okay, come on. These loading screens are painful. <laughs> Let's let me play the game. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Will do. All right, here we have the first actual proper puzzle now. Okay, so we have a button. We've got some steps. We have... A pushy button, which drops down a box there, as you can see. We now have the box, which you can put on the button. We can put on the button. Easy peasy. Now head up here, we have this button. So, yeah, we need a box to put on that to be able to go through. Because if you can see, they cannot, no, can't run through to it. We have some pushy buttons. This does, what does that do? That does that. And this does... Something else. Ah, oh, it drops the box there. So basically all we need to do is we need to press that there, and then we go one and two. That should do it. Yeah. Now we have the box. We can grab it and put it on the button. Easy peasy lemon squeezels. Yes, not a problem. Easy, easy, well easy, done. easy. Next. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. 
Uh huh. That's interesting. It really is. I'm not even joking. Do do do. Do do do. Sorry, that music. That jazz, smooth jazz from earlier. It's just lovely. I, I wish we could just listen to that the whole time. Instead of these annoying people talking to me. Oh, sorry. No. To movement through portals. If the yes. laws of physics no yes. longer apply in the future, uh -huh. God help you. Yes. It's really good. Whatever you said, I agree with. Right. So, we now need some momentum. Uh, we have this here. A little hall. I can fire the portal through. But obviously, I need to get up there first. And to do that, I want to go like this. B. And then we can go like this. Bring the... <sighs> the box fell down the hall. That's annoying. Okay, we can deal with that. Eh. Okay, so portal here. Go through the box. And then go through again. Whee! There we go. Easy peasy. Sure there's something down here as well. There's a door down there. I never noticed that before. Is that the way I came? That's just the way I came in. Testing is the future. And the future starts with you. Future starts with me. That's uh, quite a lot of Responsibility is putting up being put on me there. Okay, so we have a box over here. Uh, we have. I tried to use the pointer then, the little pointer button that you get in two play mode. We can do that. We'll do the zoom. We'll do the zoom. Um, got a big old portal area. We've got this guy here, which we're going to knock off. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, yeah, and a thing here. So we can go like this. Whee! Lovely. Lovely, bubbly. Now, oh. We need the box in there, basically. So, we need like a portal here, I think. We'll probably do it. And then we need to jump. No! Oh, not too early. Too early. That's what happened there. Okay, and then we jump down through the portal again. Whee! And we are through. Now we just need to get the portal, uh, the box, into this room here. Oh, yeah, it's just around here. I've actually done that every time I've played this game. I just realised I've done that exact same thing. Where I don't notice this. This is that little opening. It's very strange. Very strange indeed. Now we just need to get me over there. Um, which should be simple enough. Uh, all we have to do is pop my portal higher. About there. Uh, a bit further along like here as well I think. And then jump through it. It is easy. It's easy when you know how. Oh. <laughs> it needs to go a bit further this direction, into this direction. That's the one. Okay. Let's try that again. And down we go. Woohoo! Good work getting this far, future starter. Thank you. If you are simple minded, bold, or irradiated in such a way that the future Weird. should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. I, I will. I will do that. But that is it for now for the first episode. So I hope you join me in the next one. Thank you for joining me on this episode. And I really do hope that you join me for the next one. Bye.